Hello and thank you for contacting Wave Support. I see from your clinical request that you're struggling with a little bit of stability on this lens design. Um, it sounds like the patient is doing reasonably well, but the key to getting this lens to work uh, more effectively is to get the uh, lens to line up a little bit better in the far periphery uh, to stabilize the fit. To way, the way to do that is to probably go a little bit larger if you can tolerate it physiologically. I'd recommend going at about 10 and a half or possibly even 11 millimeters. Uh, ideally you want to get the landing zone to line up a little bit more uh, accurately with this red area into the flatter blue peripheral cornea. So in that case, if we look at your design, you want to keep that back OZ somewhere around the inside of the, the red area, which is where you are is probably fine. And putting the blue area, I'd probably go out a, a little bit more here at about 735. I'd probably go out closer to 780 or even 8. We'll try 8. And then I would switch over to freeform, which will allow you to pick up more detail in the all around the lens and let that uh, wave redesign that one. We'll give it a moment to do the calculations. Now that your lens is redesigned, you can see you have a little bit more alignment through that far periphery. Uh, it's a little bit more aligned here. In your original design, you had a few areas that were upturning and a few downturners here. I think this will give you a little more stability with the fit. The other option that you have, you may consider putting a little aspheric back surface design to this lens by choosing the S factor and maybe look about 0.05 minus 0.05. Once again, letting tools and current settings redesign this lens. We'll give it a moment to recalculate. And you'll see now that you have a very closely aligned lens all the way around 360 degrees. You'll also know that the back surface of this uh, lens also very closely matches the front surface of the cornea. If you choose to go this route, make sure you allow enough edge lift over here. If you check your pink dot, Just make sure you keep that high enough. Your bevel edge lift is around 0.9. I'll probably bring that up a little bit here. Get that up around 2 to 3. And then, of course, your black dot, you want to keep uh, probably under 10 if you can. Just a couple more clicks. And that should give you a pretty nicely fit lens all the way around. So once again, to summarize, I'd recommend going a little bit larger. That'll keep the lens a little bit more uh, stable on the eye. It probably won't move quite as much. Try to capture more of that peripheral data on the design by um, using either freeform or concerning put a little aspheric back uh, curvature on there. So I hope that helps you out. I wish you well in this case, and thank you for contacting Wave Support.